Kaiser here. Um, I hope everybody's having a great time doing their paintings. Um, I decided to do something a little different this time. As you know, I mostly videotape my paintings and I've got, I don't know, 50 or so out there. But until I come up with my next one, which I'm working on, I decided I would show you how to make a canvas panel out of this gator foam. I'm starting to paint on these surfaces and it's just terrific. A lot of, uh, a lot of painters that are uh, making a really good living doing this, a lot prefer to paint on a hard surface so that they can really push the paint in there without worrying about the canvas stretching or sometimes even I've even poked a canvas with an, a sharp object and it basically messes you up and you have to restretch your canvas. But um, these surfaces are great. I'm going to show you what I have here. This is a, a 16 by 20. I order these gator foam boards. It's gator foam. It's real rigid. It's not like your typical um, foam core board. It's called gator foam. Um, it's not cheap. These are 16 by 20 pre-cut panels that I buy from an outfit called Foam Board Source. And I buy packs of 10. I think it was 120 bucks. So it ends up being about 12 bucks a board. But this stuff is really tough. I mean, you probably have to hit it with a hammer to break it, if you could even do it then. So they come pre-cut, and then what I do is I buy these rolls. I'm buying these rolls of Frederick's, it's called Polyflax Linen. It, the Polyflax is actually a synthetic version of linen. And uh, there's different grades as far as uh, rougher surfaces to an ultra-fine surface, depending on what type of painting you like to do. But um, I like having the ultra fine weave so that um, if I choose to do portraits or if I choose to do you know, something with a great amount of detail, I really like the fine uh, texture. But um, it comes rolled up with the, uh, the good side in so you can see what a great surface that is. And it comes in different grades. This one I think is called uh, uh, Polyflax Red Lion. So it's supposed to mimic uh, linen or canvas, except it's a synthetic weave, and it's uh, very tough, and it comes primed with an acrylic white primer. Great surface. And then what you do is you cut it to size and uh, lay it on here. I'll show you what I'm talking about. So the, the boards that I'm buying come with one side that's got adhesive on it already. It's got adhesive on it, and then of course it's covered with a film, so you're not touching the adhesive. So you have to remove the film to lay your canvas on, which I'll show you how to do in a minute. So that's what's nice about this. The, the adhesive is enough to make the canvas stick to it temporarily, and then what you do is I take like a pillowcase and lay it over it, and I iron it at a high heat, and it kind of melts the, the adhesive into the canvas. Makes a great painting surface. It's great because you can really push your paint into the, into the canvas. Um, but a lot of people are starting to paint on these boards. But for those of you who feel like venturing out and trying something different, it's a great opportunity. But of course, it's always tempting to go to your local department store and buy your typical stretch canvases uh, four for 25 bucks. But uh, let me go ahead and show you what I do. So the first thing I do is I roll out enough of this material to cover the canvas. So let's go ahead and get started. So let's see here, I got a nice little corner here already ready, pretty much ready to go. You just have to make sure that you have enough canvas to cover your board and uh, you just leave a little excess around the edges. You can always trim that later with your X-Acto knife. So, I bring it, I back it off enough that when I come in here and trace it and trim it to size, um, I can recenter it and I still got some good overlap on all four sides. I'll come in there and cut it. And it doesn't have to be perfect yet. Because remember, we're still gonna we're gonna glue it down first. We're going to glue it and then trim off the excess.
all right? And these, these rolls of this Fredericks Polyflex, um, I think this is a six yard roll by 55 inches, and I think it ran about 80 bucks, but you can get a ton of canvases out of this. So between the board being $12, and you may be able to find it for less money elsewhere, but pre-cut board, um, 16 by 20s, about 12 bucks a piece, canvas, couple more dollars per, per canvas. And I've got the good size, the acrylic prime, real bright white side up. And the first thing you want to do is split your film because you're going to do this in halves. You don't want to just peel all the film off and stick down your canvas all in one pop. If it sticks a little bit too much, then you're going to be trying to pull it up and move it and all that. So you come in here, lay your straight edge down, and put it about the halfway point, and cut right through that film. Okay. See that? So that comes right off. So here's what I'm going to do. First thing you want to do is center it. Center it. Make sure that you've got overlap. You can feel on the, around the edges. Make sure you got a little overlap everywhere. Okay. There's my overlap. I've got a book that I'm going to set on this side temporarily, which keeps it in place. I'm going to peel back one side at a time and peel off my film. So the book or any other weighted material holds it in place while you're doing it, while you're in this process. So now you slowly roll it over the adhesive, slowly roll it over the adhesive. And what I do is I like to go down the center like that and then go out to the sides and go out to the corner. Easy enough, right? There's one side. And now this side isn't going to go anywhere, but I'm still going to I'm going to weight it down. Now I'm going to peel off the opposite side. All right, so now once you've got the other side peeled off, now you roll down the other side. You start in the middle. Like that. And just your hand. You want to make sure your hands are clean also. Just smooth it out with your hands. Start from the middle and go out to the corners. So there it is. Now a lot of people would say, okay, well, that looks good as it is. Well, no, you want to get a more permanent bond. So this is where the ironing comes in. I put a, basically a pillowcase over this and I iron it. Before we even iron, we still got a nice flat surface. Look at that beautiful acrylic primed surface. A real nice fine tooth uh, weave, really good for do, doing detail. Thanks for a great panel. I'm gonna put this clean pillowcase over my painting surface. And I'm just going to heat it up, iron it so that it's more of a permanent bond. It'll, it'll be permanent and then I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to trim off the excess, the excess uh, linen so that I got a nice finished painting surface. Yeah, these boards are very tough, very durable. All right, so here we go. Start in the middle again. Start in the middle. I have it set on cotton, so it's going to be pretty hot. And then you work real slow from the inside out toward the corners. You want to make sure you get that heat going all the way through. The canvas to the to the adhesive so that they bond together. You want to melt them. along the edge. 
edges too. It's real easy to miss the edges. Like even this one that I've already done over here, I saw a spot where I need to go back and heat it up a little bit along the edges. That should do it. So now, once that's ironed on, take your X-Acto knife, make sure it's good and sharp, hold it down real good, and cut. And by the way, um, people think, well, I need to push hard. Friction will help you with this. See that? Get a little friction going. Doesn't the knife is the sharpness of the blade will obviously do the job as long as your blade is sharp. But you don't want you don't have to push hard. You can go faster and let friction take care of that. But this sure makes for a, a, a quick panel, a high quality painting surface that's going to last you a long time. Boom. And just like that. We've got a great painting surface. Look at that surface. There's another panel right there. So the heat makes that adhesive bond to the back of the canvas material. Whether you choose linen, uh, regular cotton canvas, or whether you cho choose this uh, synthetic fiber, this uh, polyflax. Um, that's it, folks. Um, I think you can also get it in bigger boards and then cut them yourself. I kind of like these pre-cut ones, although I think that, um, I don't know if they sell them for bigger than 16 by 20 pre-cut, but you can even get, you, there are places where you can buy the panel with the linen already on it. But uh, as you can see, very durable, and uh, this is what I plan on doing a lot of my paintings on. But anyway, once again, uh, thank you all for tuning in to my channel and subscribing to my channel. Um, don't forget to subscribe if you want to see the latest videos as they come in, if you haven't already. And I also appreciate the likes that I get on Facebook as well. But uh, until, I, until next time, uh, thanks again for tuning in, and uh, good luck painting. Hope you enjoy yourselves.